Hey now, Pisces, this is your November reading. How y'all doing out there? Fishy, fishy, fishies, right? This is an interesting time here. Wow, we have three cards popping out already. So just to let you know, I'm doing a five card reading here. We've got the Ace of Swords coming out as your first card in the present position. We've got the Keeper of Corns, Coins coming out in your present desire. We have the Eight of Coins coming out in the unexpected position. Okay, I'm going to throw for your immediate future. Let's see what's going on here. Um, this reading is particular coming into November, October. Okay, you have two cards coming out here. We've got the immediate future is the justice card. Yay, you. Wow. And the potential outcome future here is the judgment card. All of your cards are in the upright crises. That's amazing. I can tell you a lot of the signs are getting everything <laughs> in the reverse. So yay you. You also have, you know, three major arcanas and an ace here. So this is going to be really interesting. Uh, what I was saying before, I'm going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to do some tarot cards. I'm also going to do a rune for rune pool for you, um, you know, to get clarification. Uh, again, we're talking about the eclipse season here. October 25th is a solar eclipse. Picture um, a room in your house where the light is turned off. The room has been cleaned, okay? Or it looks clean from the outside in the dim light. And you walk in and you turn on the light. And you realize that there is dust all over everything. Okay, so what do you do? You dust. And all of a sudden, you know, all of your treasures and, um, you know, gifts from people, you um, you know, and maybe some spider webs come to light here. That is kind of, you know, solar eclipse. This is about lasting change here. Okay, this is be out about, you know, all of the stuff that we've been purging. All right. Um, this is about, um, you know, really seeing things for what they are here, which is you have the Ace of Swords, double Ace of Swords here. Okay, the Ace of Swords is clarity given from spirit here. This clarity has been divinely given to you. I feel like you folks are finally reaching out and taking that cup. Okay, that cup of love from the divine here. And because you've decided to do that, it's giving you clarity here. Look at this. You've got two. All right. This is this is going to be a fantastic reading. I can just feel it. I'm actually my the hair is standing up on my arms here right now. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands and we also have the Page of Wands. The Ten of Wands is in reverse. I feel like a lot of you have been feeling really, really burdened. Okay, and you've decided to flip that by looking forward. Okay, this is huge stuff here. Huge. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys had a situation again. It was a harvest situation, but you guys felt really burdened, really overworked. It was like dragging you down and you decided you just flipped it. You flipped it by bringing in your passion, by bringing, by being proactive, growth, action, and energy here. Okay. All right. Uh, for some of you, I feel like a friend helped you to do this, help you to see like somebody out there sat somebody down and said, Life is supposed to be fun. This, you're, you know, this is, I feel like somebody had their own business. This is supposed to be enjoyable. This is supposed to be a blessing. Like what is happening with you, right? And it was really kind of some residual stuff, some residual imprint type stuff here. All right. In your present desire here, we have the keeper of coins. Okay. This, uh, if you're interested in the translation, quantifies into like the queen of pentacles here. Okay, Pentacles about sturdy, practical, pragmatic stuff here. This is about spiritual growth. This is about, um, you know, financial health. Okay, and this is the desire you've like, you're like, okay, I've done all this work. I have all this clarity. How can I bring this in for myself? All right, and it starts with your perspective here. Okay, it starts with you understanding that you need to do something in your passion it's about growth here i feel like some of you feel kind of stuck right now can you give me some more cards on that keeper of coins please 
Thank you, Spirit. Some more clarification. I feel like for some of you, yeah, okay. Um, you are just now kind of, I, I feel people's throat chakras clearing. I feel um, their solar plexus, like you're, you're gaining your confidence. You're coming back into your power here. And it's because of the mindset that you have adopted here. Yes, you got the clarity, but that's because you did the work. That's because you decided to take this cup of love, take care of yourself, take time out, do what you needed to do and so that you could move your mindset into newness here. And it is budding growth. You're building on a solid foundation, okay, and it's budding growth. And this can be a little bit painful. I understand that. We've got the lovers here in reverse. Um, for some of you, this could be the end of a relationship that you've been experiencing, uh, which, you know, is bringing you the opportunity for clarity. It's also about learning how to, you know, unite that divine masculine and that divine feminine within yourself. And we've got it coming in here in the reverse. So I feel like this is the obstacle right now that's holding you back from what you um, truly desire here. Yeah, we have the four of pentacles in reverse and the five of swords in reverse. So this is a card of rest. This comes before the five of pentacles, right? You're called out here to remember your solid foundation, which is partnering with the divine here. This has nothing to do with a partner. Your solid foundation is internal here, okay? Building on the four corners, solid ground, earth, water, air, fire, mind, body, spirit, heart, right? Okay. I feel like a lot of you have, have felt really burdened here. Okay. But you see the growth. Okay. The obstacle here is to keep doing that internal work. All right. This is going to break through these restrictions. Um, again, with some of the astrology, we are coming into a point where, you know, Neptune is going to trine here and, um, you know, that can bring in, um, some kind of fog, like dreamy, like energy, especially for the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? Um, but your creativity is going to go through the roof here. Okay, so kind of focus on that for now. They're giving you right now the unexpected, okay, is this eight of coins. Let's do this, okay? Uh, for some of you, you know, this this situation right here is also present, preventing an obstacle on your soulmate energy. It's about really tuning into that love, self-love, balancing out that love between the divine masculine, the internal divine masculine, divine feminine. Uh, just so you know, um, I've been led by spirit to start offering... Um, I used to hold seminars where I would lead people through meditations to help heal generational trauma and generational like behavior patterns and imprints and things like this. And I've been led to start doing those again. I'll let you know as soon as I have that together, how you can access that stuff. If you're interested, if that fits with what you're trying to do. So what you don't see coming in here, this is the unexpected. All right is this eight of coins like your work is going to be your salvation and that's what you don't understand that's what you don't see right now okay the work that you're doing the spiritual work that you're doing is um the passion okay it's clarified by this ace of wands here this two of wands we've got the four of wands in reverse the magician and the three of swords in reverse what you don't see coming in here Okay, is that work, like I said, is, is I don't want to say salvation. But the spiritual work that you're doing, your passion craft, your sole purpose work that you're doing, this is divinely given. This is in your passion, okay? And although you might feel like you're kind of going back and forth and like, what is happening here? Like, I just feel like it's it's making me like completely unstable here. Because it's so powerful, stepping into your passion, stepping into your power, this creativity flow that's going to be coming in is going to knock you off your feet. Know that it's going to be okay. You are the magician here. You have all the tools that you need to handle this influx that's going to be coming in for you. This is divinely given for you. This is part of your soul purpose is what I'm hearing. This, this is part of your mission here. 
Um, and I feel like a lot of you have gone through a lot of struggle here and you have managed to flip that around. Okay, this is a new beginning here. And it's because you've gone through this and handled it well that you are receiving this. So know if you feel a little bit unstable, okay? If it feels overwhelming, if it, you know, um, if your energy kind of feels out of whack here, you just kind of need to come back and align, okay? Everything is going to be fine. Again, you're going to get this burst of creativity. It's going to be amazing, okay? Um, in the immediate future, you have the Justice card here. Notice the moon. Notice the reveal here. Notice the clarity, okay? Right? It might feel like this has been happening gradually, okay? But this is you kind of coming into your authenticity authenticity here. Standing there saying, okay, I'm done going back and forth here. I'm done with this instability. I'm done with this betrayal. I've learned my lessons, Okay? I'm moving on and I'm call I am calling justice out on my situation. It's time to move forward here. All right. Let's get some clarity on this justice card, please. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, we've got the king of cups. Wow. This is someone again who's very balanced in divine love. They know how to give and receive fully, graciously in a balanced way here. To the point where they're holding so much love and so much mastery over this that they're able to teach other people to do that. For some of you, I feel like you are going to be teaching. Okay? Um, the masculine aspect of this uh, is about, like, bottom line. This is right. This is, this is how things should be done. I feel like this is the clarity that you're getting here. I feel like this is your energy coming in here. Yes, you've been going back and forth. We mentioned this. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Okay, in the reverse, and we have this Queen of Wands here. All right, so I feel like, again, this is your energy that you're coming into with this justice. When you make this decision to kind of call justice out on this situation, when you realize that you are the magician, you come in on this King of Cups energy to, you know, move forward with this passion project here. Um, this could also be a person that's coming into your life. I feel more like this is balancing your energies here. We have the Queen of Wands, okay? She is nurturing. She's like an earth goddess. Um, she's really in tune with, uh, you know, the rhythms of nature and earth, which is why she's able to manifest. And, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of growth here, okay? Um she's a master manifester. Okay. And she does it with softness and grace. Again, I feel like you guys have been going back and forth for some of you. I feel like you're going back and forth between two people here. Honestly, between two energies. Okay. And it's put you in a position where you stopped growing. It has made you stagnate here. All right. This needs to be flipped around to balance this. You know, you need to be celebrating. <clears throat> excuse me. You need to be celebrating this acceleration. Okay. And balancing out, balancing this love out with nurturing. All right. With the wisdom of nature here. Notice the wand in her hand here. This is about balancing this out to move forward in balance and celebration here, okay? Because in your potential outcome, again, I can't believe you guys have like four major, uh, or excuse me, you know, two major arcanas here. Everything's in the upright, okay? You've got an ace and a queen of coins showing up here. Queen of pentacles with this queen of wands energy here. So judgment is being called out. Notice the birds, right, flying in. Spirit is surrounding. Notice the egg in the bottom. This is about fertility. This is about new beginnings. This is about keys. Okay. Key manifestation keys. This is about, you know, um, speaking the truth, being in your authenticity here. The universe is calling out judgment. What does that look like for Pisces, please? What clarity can you give us for Pisces? 
<clears throat> okay, we have messages coming in very quickly. We've got the Page of Pentacles, oops, in the reverse here. That's interesting. Okay, we have the Four of Swords in the reverse, Ten of Swords, High Priestess, and Knight of Swords. Okay. All right. So you've got a message. This is the judgment card we're reading on as a reminder. You've got something coming in here very quickly. Okay. You've got a message coming in here very quickly. All right. Um, you have been in this Page of Pentacles atmosphere. All right. Where you're just kind of focused in on yourself. You have flipped this around and it has made you feel constrained, okay? Again, that four of pentacles back here was in the upside down. Your six was in the reverse as well, okay? And what this is showing me is that you don't have self-confidence right now, okay? So my suggestion would be to get back into your work, do some studying, do um, you know, whatever spiritual work needs to happen for you to gain some confidence back up because you have been building on very solid ground here. Like, let's get to the point. Okay. Well, I've got my foundation. Let's get to the point and keep moving forward here. You need to flip this around. Okay. Into balance here. All right. You can do this by getting back into your studies. If there's something that you've been studying or interested in, take some time out and do that. Focus on some work. Focus on something fun, okay? That's going to bring you some confidence um, because I feel like you guys are about ready to harvest all this clarity. You're bringing in this high priestess energy of intuition and you're going to need it because you have a knight of swords showing up in reverse. Um, I feel like for a lot of us, Okay, especially during this eclipse season, because this is, again, an opportunity for lasting change, which means letting go of things that should not be there in our lives. Okay, when we level up, it's great we to move forward, but we also have this stuff that we have to let go of here. And for some of you, you know, the Knight of Swords energy is reckless. They might be a great warrior. They might present themselves as taking charge and knowing all that they know. But this is a very reckless energy, okay? Um, this is somebody that you want to, to, like, lead you into battle, okay? But you don't want them doing any kind of strategizing. You don't want them to have too much authority, okay? Because they're reckless. They will endanger people for no reason. And you've got it coming in here in the reverse. Some of you, I really feel like I just did a clarity reading this morning that, um, and it, you can look it up. It's clarity part two. There's a warning in there for somebody about this Knight of Swords energy that's coming back around. This is highly volatile. Okay. This is something that you do not want to confront or engage. You can stand your ground from a higher perspective, which is in a state of non-judgment, Okay, things like that, but this is a very volatile energy and you need to be aware of this, which is why I feel like some of you know that this is coming in. Okay, some of you have been manifesting this to get resolve on a situation. I'm going to grab another deck here. And this is why you've got the judgment card here. The universe is saying, again, you've called justice. The universe is, is agreeing with you in full judgment here okay but you need to be aware somebody needs to be aware okay that this is a volatile human being here or a group of people or whatever this th these people are not mature they're unstable okay and the way to get through this is to have ultimate clarity and intuition. If you must deal with these people, then you need to keep your wits about you and you need to always come from a higher perspective here. Okay. This will give you abundance here. All right. This could have been a marriage partnership situation. I feel like once you get through this situation here, you are reaping the abundance that you are so desperately desiring. Okay. This Ace of Wands. We've got Upside Down Six of Wands here. Okay. I'm going to just get some clarity here, please. 
this person might promise you the world, promise you a ton of abundance, promise you marriage, but it's not going to work. You know this already. If this is not a person from your past, this is the exact same energy. Yeah, notice how they're moving forward with focus and balance, okay? You know what this energy is, and you're moving forward into this Eight of Cups here. All right, so for some of you, this person, this, this, uh, you know, you need to get back into your confidence and back into your intuition to deal with this person or this energy that's coming in. You have, they might promise you this, and uh, it's not going to turn out this way. We've got this chariot here. You need to move forward with purpose here. On target. Focus. Okay? Right? Because you have opportunity here. You have options coming in for you. Can you give me a read on Pisces Abundance, please? Let me just switch a deck here. Yeah, we've got a King of Cups and we have a Page of Wands. This is your energy. I feel like you're kind of tentatively grabbing something new here. This is bringing in a King of Cups for you, which as a water sign is exactly what you want. This is somebody that's nurturing, that values your gifts, okay, that you don't have to explain yourself to. This is somebody that will truly value you, will respect you, will love you because they understand you, okay? King of Cups energy again, right? Okay? You're manifesting this. Let's get some clarity, please, on this King of Cups and this, or no, let's, let's ask on this Queen of Wands, please. I've got the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords here. Okay, this is about growth. There might be um, gossip surrounding this situation. You could be trying to escape, dropping knowledge. Like you're, you're kind of like almost, remember we had this in the reverse. Okay, it's like you are, you're not seeing what's right in front of you. You're trying to run away from the clarity, which came up, this it came up actually in the reverse here. Like you're trying to run away from, from the clarity that's coming into you from the divine here. Okay, we've got the devil card coming in here. We've got a tower moment. All right. Again, if this is not, if this is not a particular person, if this is not a particular, it's the same energy. This is energy you've been working on getting rid of here and you've been doing it. Okay. Your four of pentacles and your four of swords came up in reverse. This is, you know, like the, the growth and the clarity on it, but in your heart knows Okay, your heart already knows. That's why it came up in the reverse. Your heart knows what this is and what this looked like. They promised you the world here. Okay, this is fake energy. This is fake. This is not for you. Okay, for some of you, um, I read this on the Queen of Wands. It's about you listening to your inner knowing and you can do that the reason it's coming up as queen of wand energy is because um you can get there by self-nurturing by just simply taking care of yourself you're going to come back into the confidence that you need here yeah ten of wands chariot okay you're not seeing Basically what's happening is, um, yeah, you're just not in tune. That's it. And when you become, when you do tune in, okay, it's telling you move forward again in balance and clarity, right? These are extremes here. The light and the dark. It's a, a, it's a point of finding balance and moving forward in the middle in your authenticity here. Okay. This is going to bring you in harvest here. 
All right, we've got the two of cups in reverse. There's a possible marriage coming in. If you just stay, you've got to connect your heart center. Okay, you've got to reconnect your heart center with your mind, body, spirit here. And this is bringing in that Ace of Pentacles. All right, so let's move on. I'm going to grab a rune reading for you. Actually, uh, I'm going to get four more cards here. I'm going to leave that out. Sorry, I forgot. These are all major arcana. I'm just going to get um, on this potential, this potential new partnership, please. Yeah, clarity. Again, Ace of Swords here being offered to you. Oops, I did it in the reverse. The Ace of Swords, this is about clarity here. <laughs> Three times they're giving you clarity. Like, you can see it. Okay, it's time to move forward here, all right? Do some reflection, but you don't get stuck. It's about death and it's about rebirth here, okay? God, that cards. These are the old, old, ain't the old cards here. And some of these, some of these images are pretty graphic. Yeah, we've got the Empress here. This is about fertility, birth, new beginnings. This is the ultimate fertility, okay? This is the ultimate birth here, new projects, okay? This is also um, letting you know that your guides, the whole universe is backing this for you, okay? Crazy abundance. Yeah, temperance. You're alchemizing this. Okay, you need to have patience. And it, I'm hearing patience with yourself above everything else. Remember we talked about how do you deal with this Queen of Wands? Okay, you do that by self-care. That's it. It's that easy. You're already protected here. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Wow, you've got three blank ones coming out and then you've got one in the upright. Strong. Okay, protection, polarity, regeneration. Okay, you've got this. You're doing it already is what I'm hearing is what you don't understand is you are doing this already, Pisces. Okay, like this is already in process. Maybe this is coming out this way to kind of give you some definition, some identification of these phases here. Because what I hear is you're already doing this. Okay. Yeah, we've got movement, number 36, which quantifies into a nine or a three. Um, we've had two chariots come out, right? Two or three of them. Okay. Moving forward in focus, right? Remember the arrow, that all that cosmic swirling energy. Um, yeah, here it is. Okay. Moving forward in focus. With all the cosmic energy surrounding you. Can I get some clarity, please, uh, again, on this, uh, this partnership? Preferably the new. Yeah, we've got the full. This is about new beginnings. This is about opening up. It's about taking a risk, taking a calculated risk, a strategic risk. It's about having that spirit of discovery, knowing that you are still a novice and you need to learn. We talked about how to get past some of these energies here was to come back into focus with your studies here. Okay, to get back on point, to make sure that you're tuning into the intuition here. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, we've got the hangman here. A lot of you are stuck. Which is why the universe is, is saying you already have the clarity here. You already know. There's three of them. Okay? Step into that intuition here. Just know this is coming in. This knight of swords energy is coming in. Whether you're bringing it in. Okay, for your own self or whether this is coming in outside. Yeah, add it. Remember the love here. Remember your spiritual experiences. Learn from your spiritual experiences here. Okay? 
Uh, for some of you, I'm hearing like, you know, write a love letter to yourself. Okay, like from the higher perspective to, you know, your inner child, I'm sorry that this happened to you. I'm sorry that, and use I and you because you're coming from the higher perspective. Okay, and then you can say on the other side, like this, you know, um, you deserve this or I deserve this. Um, I am doing this. This is how I'm moving forward. Be real proactive about it. But I'm, I'm hearing to write a love letter to yourself, to your inner child here, that that's going to help you move forward here. To remember the love, right? The at, it's, it's in your mind. It's a mindset that's happening for you. Okay? All right. Um, I'm feeling like I need to pull just a couple more cards for you, Pisces. Okay, we've got the hopeful, the power of prayer and meditation can wake you up, renew your faith, help you attune to your needs and align with your deepest truths. Prayer and meditation to get there. We've got the manifester, manifesting your inner dialogue and using quantum affirmations daily can help you to make real your desired life changes. Quantum, right? Quantum affirmations here. We've got the grace. Forgive yourself and anyone else in your situation. Even if you or they do not deserve it. To forgive is to mirror the divine forces who love us. Okay. I hope this has been helpful, Pisces. Please take good care of yourselves. All right. If this reading resonated with you, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, again, I am going to be, Spirit has really led me as the healer aspect uh, because I, I do the readings. I'm also a healer. I'm trained in Reiki uh, and other modalities. Um, and I've been, I, a long time ago, I was doing generational clearing uh, sessions and, and um, for people, for groups. And I've been called to bring that back out again. Your health card here. Dear Archangel Raphael, I turn my eating over to you and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good, are fulfilling, and support my ideal health and weight. So um, remember that food is fuel, Pisces. And I'm getting changed physicians. Thank you for leading me to the best healer for this situation. Right? Um also for, you know, looking at different modalities of health. Nutrition is a big one. Okay? Hope this has been helpful. This is a great reading. You've got some amazing abundance. The fact that I pulled this Empress out on uh, the Two of Cups. And that you've got justice. <laughs> you've got judgment following justice. This is like instant manifest manifestation here, Pisces. I hope you understand how powerful that is. Okay, like maybe the justice card will come out and then like how many cards later the judgment card comes out. But you got it like one right after the other. That's crazy powerful. May my words today overflow with love. Stay in that. Gratitude, grace, love, claim your power. Pisces, I hope this has been helpful. Please take good care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, be kind out there.